Now we will calculate the mean of the beta distribution of the second kind, which is actually equals to first moment of outraging, that is the mu1 dash, which is equals to expectation of x raised to power 1. We know that according to the definition of the expectation, this term is equals to integration over the whole values of x with respect to dx. Here we write that term which is inside the expectation. Here we write the PDF of the beta distribution of the second kind. We know that the PDF of beta distribution of second kind is this one. So that's why at the place of facts, we write this term. And in beta distribution of second kind, our x takes values from 0 to infinity. That's why we take here limits from 0 to infinity. Next, we write this constant term outside the integration as like this. And we know that the bases are same. So we can add these powers. That is the 1 plus u minus 1. That is, we have to write here only u. That is x raised to power u. Now, from here, we can calculate the definition of our beta function as like this. Now, this term is just similar to this term. So, that means we can convert this term in the beta function. We just have to find the values of m and n. So, now on comparing this term with this term, we can see that our u is equal to m minus 1. That is our m is equal to u plus 1. So, from here we find the value of our m. Now, we have to have find the value of our n to convert this term in term of the beta function. So now on comparing this term with this term that is u plus v is equals to m plus n. We have already calculated our value of m. So that's why we write here u plus 1 right that is u plus v is equals to here we have to write u plus 1 that is a u plus 1 plus n. Now u will cancel out by u and our value of n is equal to v minus 1 that is value of n is equal to v minus 1 so now we can write this term in term of the beta function by writing at the place of n u plus 1 and at the place of n v minus 1 is like this moreover we know that beta function can be written down in terms of the gamma function as like this so that's why at the place here we write our this term and now we can see that this term is cancelled out by this term because here we left with only u plus v after cancelling plus 1 with minus 1. Now we know that we can expand our gamma function as like this one. So that's why firstly we will expand this term one time as like this one. Then we will expand our this gamma v one time as like this one. So here we have to write gamma v minus 1 and here we have to write gamma of the u. Now, why we have expanded only this term? Why not this term? Because we can see that from this term and from this term, our this term is bigger. That is u plus 1 is greater than u. That's why we have to expand this function. As similar like, we know that v is greater than v minus 1. So, that's why we expanded this v. So, that we can take our these values. So, now we cancel these similar values and we get a mean of the beta distribution of second kind is equals to u divided by v minus 1 as like this term. Now we will calculate variance of the beta distribution of our second kind which in term of expectation is like this and in term of moment is like this that is variance is equal to second moment about mean which is equals to second moment about region minus first moment about origin raised to power 2. Now we know that this term is actually the mean of the beta distribution of the second kind which we have already calculated which was equals to u divided by a v minus 1. So now we just have to calculate the value of expectation of x square to find the value of variance of the beta distribution of the second kind. Now according to the definition of the expectation it is equals to integration over the whole values of x and we know in beta distribution of the second kind our x take value from 0 to infinity. Here we write that term which is inside the expectation. Here we write the pdf of the beta distribution of second kind which is equals to this term. That is, that's why we write here this term. And we take this constant term outside the integration. Now, we know that our bases are same. So, we can add the powers. That is 2 plus u minus 1 is equals to u plus 1. So, that's why here we have to write only x raised to power u plus 1 as like this term. Now, again, from here, we can find the 
definition of our beta function which is equals to this term and this term is just similar to this term so we can write this term in terms of the beta function by just finding the values of our m and n so now on comparing this term with this term that is u plus 1 is equal to m minus 1 we can see that value of our m is equals to u plus 1 plus 1 that is m is equal to u plus 2 now we want to calculate the value of our n so we will compare this term with this term that is u plus v is equal to m plus n we have already calculated the value of m which is equals to u plus 2 that is here we write only u plus 2 plus n on cancelling u with u we get value of n is equal to v minus 2 that is value of n is equal to v minus 2 so now we can write here beta function of m comma n that is u plus 2 comma v minus 2 because value of m is this and value of n is this now we can also expand our beta function terms of gamma function as like this so that's why at place here we write this term now again we can see that here we left with only u plus v so we can cancel this term with this term now we can again expand our gamma functions like this so that's why we will expand this term two times as like this one next we will expand this term two times as like this one we expanded this term two times so that we get the gamma of the u so that we can cancel this term with this term as like similar we expand this term two times to get the value of gamma v minus 2 to cancelling this term with this term now the expectation of x square is equals to u multiplied by u plus 1 divided by v minus 1 multiplied by the v minus 2 that is this term so now we have calculated expectation of our x square now we want to calculate the value of our variance which is equals to this one so here we have to write u u plus 1 divided by v minus 1 v minus 2 and here we have to write the square of our mean that is square of this term that is u divided by v minus 1 whole raised to square now we can take common u divided by v minus 1 from these two terms that is u divided by v minus 1 so inside bracket we have to write only u plus 1 divided by v minus 2 here we have to write u divided by v minus 1 now we can take lcm that is we can write here v minus 1 v minus 2 here we have to multiply v minus 1 with this term that is v minus 1 multiplied by u plus 1 and here we have to multiply v minus 2 with u that is u multiplied by v minus 2 and outside the bracket here we have u divided by v minus 1 so now on expanding these brackets we can see here that is here we get a uv plus v minus u minus 1 here we can get minus uv plus 2u divided by v minus 1 v minus 2 outside the bracket we have u divided by v minus 1 now this uv is cancelled out by uv and this plus 2u minus u is equals to only u here we have plus v here we have minus 1 outside the bracket we have u divided by in the denominator we have v minus 1 square v minus 1 square and here we have v minus 2 so this is the variance of the beta distribution of the second kind that is u multiplied by u plus v minus 1 divided by v minus 1 square multiplied by v minus 2 